Welcome to Seashorn Vlog, and we are here with a bucket list video. We are going to talk about the countries in the world that are on our bucket list that we'd most like to visit. Where would you like to go? Ooh. These are places we've never been on our bucket list, or a couple of places we have been that we want to go back to, but. We're going to talk about all the places we've never been that we want to go. I might be a bit controversial though and play around with something though. So what's first on your list? On your bucket list? That I'm not doing mine in any particular order. No, they, no these aren't in any order, they're just in on the list. I have been to the Caribbean before, but I want to do all of the Caribbean islands. Highly unlikely, but I would love to do all of the Caribbean islands. Is that cheating? That's a lot of countries. It's the Caribbean. I'm saying all of the islands. See? You know, you know what we'll have to do. The oh. cruise around the Caribbean, a couple of cruises around the different parts of the Caribbean. To try to, we've been to Jamaica. We have. You've been to the Dominican Republic. I have been to the Dominican Republic. We were supposed to go to the Bahamas on a Disney cruise and cancelled, and we were supposed to go to Aruba. We were. But we switched that to Jamaica. But yeah, I'm I'm with you on most of the Caribbean islands, not all of them. Mm -hmm. I don't really have any desire to go to Haiti. Ooh. Cuba, I'm kind of going off a little bit. But I want to go back to Jamaica. I want to go to the Bahamas. I want to go to Aruba. I want to go to um, Grand Cayman, Little Cayman, those ones. Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands. What else is there? Grenada. Grenada, St. Martin. Tim Bart would be lovely, but we're not rich. The Virgin Islands. Yeah. Um, you can think of the, the places down. Kur Curacao and those ones that are down next to. Yeah. That are in like the Dutch Antilles. I think that's what they're called. Dutch Nether Antilles or whatever. I'd quite like to go there. Aruba just looks so good. Aruba, like, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take it to Bermuda, Bahama. Bermuda's not in the Caribbean, but Bermuda's on the list Come as well. Come on, pretty mama. Key Logo, mm -hmm. Montego. Okay, well no, you can say anything. <laughs> Not really. <coughs> yeah, Caribbean islands, just for the the beaches and the culture and the relaxed the rum. atmosphere, the nice people. Mm. You find some beautiful things in Caribbean islands that you never expect. Yeah. So I'm with you on those ones. Okay. On my list is Japan. Japan is a big one. We were meant to go last year, but obviously didn't. Japan is, a, is somewhere that I've always wanted to go, and I will go, and I think I'm going to love it and want to go back time and time again. But we need to go there for the first time, and not just for Tokyo Disney, even though that's a big reason to go. I want to go to Universal Japan as well. Still yeah. got the Jaws ride there. That I've never ridden, but you have. And for me, uh, Japan, when we were organising it, really wasn't all about Disney for me. It was actually no. about a lot of the... Um, historical monuments, historical, the I'm temples, really into, the castles. Yeah, I'm really into history um, and culture. The food. Like, all the food in Japan just, oh, it just all looks amazing. And I've read and watched all the stuff on geishas and things, and I, and I just like the whole background. Like the bamboo and, forest. Uh, that kind of I'd thing. love to go the all parks over. Deer parks, we wanted to see as well. Deer parks. I'd love to go all over uh, Kyoto, where it's like the oldest, all all the old, really old buildings. It was the former capital. Yeah. Before Tokyo, Kyoto, Tokyo, other way around. And we watched a few vloggers um, who made us want to go even more. Oh yeah, just all over the country, really. Um, but we'll we'd we'll start off with the main part of Tokyo, Osaka, Kyoto, Hiroshima before we go into other places, but so many things. And we actually do like uh, Japanese food. Yeah, I love Japanese food. That, that, that's one of the big things. And it's cheap and just really the choices. Especially lots for of you. Theme, lots of theme parks, museums. Go, Mario Kart on the streets, like real go-karts on the street dressed as Mario. Even that's kind of unofficial. It'll be really good. Super Nintendo World at Universal. Fuji Q, if we could ever go there. Which is another theme park. But yeah, Japan. And on, on adding on Japan, surrounding areas as well. So Singapore, um, 
so surrounding areas as well, Singapore, Hong Kong, China to an extent. So kind of Malaysia. Like the Australasia area. Or Indonesia area. Like, Australasia Indonesia. Indonesia, no, we're not, I'm, I'm not really bothered about going to Australia or any Australasia places. I would, I would go, but they're not on my bucket list. More that southern, south, east Asian areas. And maybe the Philippines up to the top as well. We wanted to do Vietnam. That Viet was, Vietnam. 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 Vietnam was a big thing and you've gone that, very quiet on it, but it was a big thing for you. Vietnam's not you. really any good for you. You have to be careful. So there's plenty of countries on my bucket list that'll never happen. Um, because there's plenty of countries on my bucket list that'll never happen because they're difficult for you. Yeah. Places like Vietnam, Chile. Mm -hmm. Because I'd like to go. Peru. Peru. I'd I would like have to go love to do the Patagonian mountains. And Machu really Picchu, possible. and but that's just not really possible. Yeah. But I'd like yeah, Hong Kong. I've always fancied Hong Kong, Singapore. I want to stay in. Um, Singapore, I want to stay in the hotel that's in the three towers with the pool on the top. That's really high. I've got a casino, I think it's owned by MGM, I'm not sure. Can you do that again because you rubbed your nose? That's why I paused. <laughs> <coughs> so, all of that area, kind of area for me, even. South Korea, I think would be quite interesting. Taiwan, places like that, all around there, I'm really interested. Thailand? Yeah, I mean, I was meant to, when I was younger, I was meant to go to Pattaya um, for a month because my friend is Thai. Unfortunately, my mum got pregnant, so that never happened. But yeah, Thailand. Um, I keep looking, if you wonder why I'm looking. Just like, it looks so, like, beautiful. Yeah. Like. Uh, Amazing, and when we're over that, like French Polynesia, Bora Bora, mm -hmm. like it just well, looks heavenly. Yeah, Bora Bora is meant to be nice. Having a, having a villa out on out over the water, clear clear sacred water with the fishes. Not that I'll go in the sea that much because I'm scared of jellyfish. The sea doesn't bother me. Swimming with. He, he parked outside our house and he's been over the other side. I don't know what he's doing. Bora Bora, definitely, and on like over over the same, talking about over the same bungalows, the Maldives. Yeah, definitely the Maldives. Love to love to go to the Maldives, but I'm Mauritius. I'm, I'm Mauritius, I think there'll be lots of things to do. Sri Lanka, but Maldives worry me slightly that they'll be a bit boring, and it's difficult for you now because you can't really go on the beach and stuff, so we can't just yeah. sit there all day. I uh, I mean I was once a I mean, my holiday, ideal holidays would be to go and see culture and things like that and to have a beach holiday. Uh, that's what I used to, that's what I keep saying as people could come in the door. I just nearly died. I know. That's kind of over that side. I would like to go to Kenya. Yeah, I've always wanted to, I always wanted to do a um, safari. Mm. Definitely. A proper safari and I want to go to that giraffe hotel yes, where that would be amazing, the, giraffe the giraffes hotel. put their head through the windows and they eat their breakfast with you and like that. We love giraffes. I always wanted to do as well was to see the seven wonders of the world. It, that's never going to happen but I would have loved to have seen it. I've seen one. I've seen Chichen Itza so that's one of the seven wonders of the world. But yeah that would have been something. I would have loved to have walked the Great Wall of China. Yeah. It's never going to happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. I have thought about doing like the full length of the wall of China or for a charity walk you thing did, that we did. Yeah, it was for MS, wasn't it? You were thinking about it. But that that, no, that never came about. Mm, well, yeah, Kenya and elsewhere in Africa, Morocco is quite high up on my list of places that I want to really go. It really is high up. On Keeps your getting list. bumped by other places because we were we have thought about going. Really thought about booking, but we always tend to book somewhere else. But Morocco, just that culture, the beaches, the Food just really intrigues me. And I always wanted to island hop the Greek islands as well. That was another thing I wanted to do. I just love the Greek food, Greek culture. I love the mythology. I love the ancient ruins there. Again, it's a histor it's the history for me. You can tell. Yeah. Um, that was some. I always wanted to do all the Greek islands, and that's never going to happen. But I'd like to go to the Greek but, islands, not but island hop, but do some of them. Just nice holidays. They're not really high up on my. It's the places that I really want to go to. They are places that I'll go for like a basic holiday. Chill out. This is this, this is gonna probably shock a few people. I always wanted to go to 
Tuscany in Great Pick and sit down on a veranda in the night time in Tuscany while the sun sets. Eating pizza? No. Having crusty bread and cheeses and olives and a glass of wine. I no longer drink wine. I think it's paying for that. No longer drink wine. It's not the same as Tuscany. Um, the other thing I would love, to, I always fancy doing was the same kind of thing. Not not great picking, but going to the Dauphin region of France mm. in a chateau, eating cheese and bread and sitting out on the balcony. France or, doesn't really appeal oh, to that me. That was the other thing. As a country. To go to. Or going to France in, into a little... Um, a little um, city or town in France sitting in one of the little cafes reading poetry and drinking wine don't drink wine anymore but I do like poetry see people wouldn't think that and one of the biggest places I've always wanted to go to and it's not Australia is New Zealand because it's uh, such a vast array and there's a lot of culture in New Zealand as well Wales Australia. is closer if you want sheep Xena Warrior Princess got me interested in New Zealand because it was filmed there, and so was Hercules. Well, if you're talking about places that films have got you interested in, I'd quite like to go to Croatia. Croatia's actually somewhere that Game of Thrones. I wasn't so bothered about Croatia, but then we watched our travel. Our travel, our, tra- our travel place. Our travel place. Um, our travel place. Below deck med, and Game of Thrones. Yeah. Three, three things I've, that have I've really got made us Croatia interested. really appeal. Somebody else has just been to Croatia as well. I don't know who, but it just looks magnificent. But again, in the cities at least, it looks like it's going to be difficult for, for me. you. Yeah. But I think we'll probably give Croatia a try. A try. We do want to go to Budapest as well, but that's just a general trip. Like proper bucket list countries, other than the Caribbean, Japan, um, Canada. Yeah, we've always wanted to go to Canada. Especially Whistler. Whistler for you. For me. I would like to go to Vancouver, not just because Kitty and our friends are there. And I actually. But I've always like wanted to go, and I want to go to Toronto as well, but not necessarily not really for Toronto. I want to go to Canada's Wonderland. Do you know what to go to Toronto to try all the food? No, Vancouver is where the f- good food is in. There's a lot of festivals in, in, in Toronto, Toronto as well. Um, yeah, Vancouver, sorry, Canada's always been on my list of there or thereabouts. The reason being is mum and dad were actually meant to emigrate and it never, never paid happened. off. I could have been Canadian. And I do actually have family members who lived in Canada and they made it look so lovely. I've got a family member who lives out there right now as well. Yeah. He lives in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Canada. Yeah, I think Canada, again. It's just, very, it's just there's so many things that are appealing about Full of Canada. history. A lot of movies and TV shows are filmed out there and it does make it look lovely. Yeah. Um, but Whistler, it looks stunning. Oh, I would it love does. to do a sleigh ride in the snow on horses. With all, oh, the big hotel, is it Chateau Marmont? Whatever it is, Chateau Marmont. Um, it looks stunning. Yeah. I'd probably be absolutely freezing. But it looks of course, you complain about the cold all the time. That's true. But if we were ever going to move abroad... Canada would be one of the countries that I would consider. There's three countries so far that I would live in if I if if we retired abroad. Ooh, this is what, this is going to be new for me. But too. Canada we've not been new, but Canada is on the list anyway. Canada, Spain, I would quite happily retire to Spain because it's close enough to the it's close to the UK. It's warm nearly all the time. The food's good and there's plenty to do. So Spain. Um, and the third one is Mexico. Would happily move and live in Mexico. And that would probably be it would go Mexico, Canada, Spain in that order of places I would like I would retire to. I could agree with Canada. I could agree with Mexico. But I would swap You have a real I would swap problem with Spain. I would swap Spain for Cyprus. I wouldn't I want to love live in Cyprus. Cyprus. I love Cyprus. I love the little mountain places, uh, historical stuff up in the mountains, which Sean's never been to. No, but Cyprus is only a small country and it's an island. Spain, we can go to Portugal, we can hop over and go to Morocco and Egypt, we can go to France quite easily. It's close to theme parks. So that's why Spain appeals. And it's. There's a, it, because of how many Brits retire there, not losing too much of the British culture as well. And we're used to the Spanish culture quite a lot, so I think it would be quite an easy move. We'd have to learn language, but it would be quite an easy move. 
Mexico though is, is the number one. I've never been, I've not really been into Spain no. a great deal. I mean, the times I've been, I've had not, I've had, I wouldn't say the best of times. Um, struggled to eat is one of the main things. I really struggled to eat. You had no problem eating in Barcelona. No, but anyway, we're, we're, right. we're, we have diverged from our local countries. That's turned into where we'd like to retire. <laughs> and there's plenty of time. Yeah, you surprised me because I didn't there's, know these. There's plenty of time to talk about that. Because it's ages away. Because I can't afford anything yet. So, my. Are there any other bucket, countries book on your bucket list? Germany is on mine, which might be surprising to some people. But Germany is on mine because of all the theme parks. I'll kind of badge Netherlands, Germany, Belgium together. And it's the theme parks I'm interested in more than anything there. My my a lot of my stuff's mainly places within countries, not necessarily countries. Um, so we'll let you have a. We've been to America, and we said we were going to talk about places we hadn't actually, been. Actually, can I just say what might be of interest? And it's only because I've watched food prep programs. Is Tasmania? That's your Australasia thing again, isn't it? Why does Tasmania interest you? It doesn't it, interest it, me it at all. Looks, it looks lovely in the food. I just think, I forget it's a food thing. Um, I'm trying to think where else I could I love food. Caroline doesn't eat, so I don't know why it's a food thing for you. I just think, but for you, be, it's all the culture and the food. It just looks lovely. And I've now got to think about koala bears and things <laughs> in the minute. Um, I, don't, I don't know whether I'd want to go maybe to Sweden, Norway, places like that. I don't know. To, to see the field I'd like to go to Iceland. Again, but these places will be really cold for me. Yeah, we tend to avoid cold places. But yeah, those are quite a lot. We basically we, we want like to the, travel the world. We, yeah, we want we want to, we want to visit everywhere. But bucket list wise, there's a couple of the, really key ones for me. Well, the place not the place near Mexico. But not in Mexico, where we were on that what, what, a TV program where they had to get themselves from country to country. Colombia, money. not Colombia, Panama? not Panama. Uh, Honduras. Not Honduras. It's the one that looks really nice, and they've got the really aqua seas. And I want to say it begins with a B, but right now I can't think. And that Belize. Belize. Was Belize. It Belize. Was it Belize? Yeah, Belize. Belize looks really nice. Belize. Believe yeah. it or not, that's maybe. But again, the program she's talking about is Race Across the World, and the second series is from Mexico City all the way down to the southern tip of Argentina, and they go through all the countries. That that's the program you're talking about. Angie Harmon went for a holiday there, and it looked really nice. Costa Rica. Costa Rica does look lovely, but again, it's whether it would be suitable for me. My yeah. friend's just been there two year ago and she absolutely loved it. Loved Costa Rica. So in a nutshell, we want to visit lots of places. Um, my bucket list, there's Japan, Canada, Germany, and Morocco are like my four really high up on my bucket list. Caribbean islands, Canada, New Zealand, Greek islands. Mald Maldives and Mauritius or somewhere like that, I don't know. Okay. I'd, I'd just be pleased to be able to go places and do things and see things. Let <gasps> How could we forget Brazil? I'm not bothered about going to Brazil. I'd just like to do Mardi Gras at least once. Well, why would you go to Brazil to do Mardi Gras? You've got a new audience for that. Well, yeah, but the Rio, the Brazilian one looks really you, good, though. It's not go, Mardi Gras. What is it, Rio? The carnival. The carnival, the Rio carnival. Yeah. Is it Mardi Gras? I don't know. It's their version of a Mardi Gras. It's I think a, it's, it's just a, a carnival. carnival. But it's like a Mardi Gras. Oh. It's a real oh. carnival. Whatever. But more, a lot of the places I want to see are in America, Canada, the Caribbean, and I and I, I probably would like to go back to Italy as well. I've been to Italy, I've been to Venice, but I would like to go back. Yeah, we're going to get more specific on a future video about the places in the USA that we'd like to visit, so watch out for that. Tell us where, what's on your bucket list, which countries would you like to visit? How could I forget Ireland? I've never been to Ireland. <sighs> I do want to go on Ireland, it's true! Yeah. But that's again, it's a heritage thing, it's history, family history. She just wants to go to all churches and look at family history. Let us know what's on your bucket list. Which countries would you like to visit? Can you make a memories? Catch you later.